before we start, please watch my previous video. The link will be in the description. Amy Schneider returned for her 28th game on Jeopardy. She won a 27-day total of $977,400. As explained in the previous video, Ken Jennings' introduction was, as we prepare to wrap up this first week of the new year, our returning champion, Amy Schneider, is within striking distance of that million-dollar mark. However, if you watched yesterday's show, you saw that it was not a runaway. You saw how tenuous any champion's run on Jeopardy can be. Let's welcome Patsy and Sean and see if they're the ones who prevent Amy's 28th victory. Usually the second to last category and the last category form a phrase, so I thought the category after move it was going to be or lose it. Amy got the daily double, wagered 3000 and went to $6,200. What's a double bassoon? No. I feel bad for Patsy, who answered bassoon? double bassoon when the answer was actually just bassoon. Patsy once owned a boat that belonged to the Kennedys. Patsy Lester, a social studies teacher from Patchlock, New York. Her family had a historic possession, what was it? Patsy answers, right, so I come from a very big family. I have seven brothers and sisters, and my dad needed a big boat for all of us, so he's able to get his antique wooden commuter boat um, in 1970, and it was great because we can all fit in it, and we, and we could sail all over the place, the Great South Bay, but it had belonged to the Kennedys before my dad got it, and actually there are three pictures of JFK and Jackie on it up in the Hyannis Airport, and we even have a chart that had a little bit of his handwriting on it. Ken asks, wow, do you still have the Kennedy boat? Or Pat unfortunately answers, no, my, it's because it was so big and wooden and difficult to maintain. My parents sold it and, uh... It was actually bought by some collector, and I saw it recently sailing on Lake Como, beautifully restored. So, wow, Ken says in surprise before Patsy concludes, it's in Italy now. I also didn't notice this until right I was about to upload this. She's a social studies teacher, and one of the possessions her family owned was from a historical figure. Talk about serendipity. That's the really funny thing that I've been noting a lot of, uh, I've been noting a lot of funny coincidences, and I guess this is another one. The students are really looking at Patsy as a teacher. She seems really nice. Amy's anecdote was about a word that was hilariously and coincidentally wrong for her. Amy Schneider, our returning champion, obviously we've seen on the show, you have an impressive vocabulary, but in high school you had an upsetting discovery about your own vocabulary. She goes on to explain, yeah, well, there was a, a word to always uh, seen around. Yeah, well, there was a, a word I'd always uh, seen around that was like the word to misle. It's to confuse somebody, that sort of thing. Uh, one day in high school, I was reading a book and thought to myself, boy, I've only ever seen that in the past tense. And I realized that it had been the word misled my whole life. Ken jokes, you had been misled about the word misled. As he jokes, Amy continues, yeah, I'd been misled by it. Ken concludes, well, you're doing well now, you're in the lead. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, this fish, new fish. I'm surprised Ken didn't say, I'm out of breath. It's January, why is it asking about the Grinch? Passed the end of the first round, winning $1,400. Sean was in third place at $1,000, and Amy was in the lead at 14800 One of the categories is awards and honors on the day Amy could potentially exceed $1 million. I'm pretty sure I made the same comment when one of Andrew Hayes wins. Sean started Double Jeopardy immediately getting a daily double. He risked 2000 unfortunately answered wrong, and went down to negative $1,000. I knew Amy would answer the Wicked Witch of the West Wing. He got both daily doubles. Sean got both daily doubles in Double Jeopardy. He bet 590 answered right, and went from 600 to 1190 The Nobel Prizes are awarded in six categories, including this one for which Louise Glick won in 2020. Ken pronounces it Glick. I thought it was Gluck or Gluck. I found it interesting there was no umlaut over the U. There were a lot of questions in Double Jeopardy that were left unanswered, a bit more difficult than usual. Amy entered Double Jeopardy winning $32,400. Sean was in second place at $2,790. And Patsy was in third place at $1,000. The final Jeopardy category was 20th century nonfiction. The question was Norwegian Independence Day and a vast blue sea are mentioned in chapter 1 of this 1948 book by this man. The author is probably not even American, and I guess Arthur Miller anyway. I'm more concentrated on if Amy will reach her $1 million total. The answer was higher at all. Amy was the only one to answer correctly. 
Yes, that's correct. In 1947, a Norwegian scientist named Tor Heyerdahl took his raft, the Kontiki, across the Pacific just to prove that it could be done. So you're going to add how much? Amy wagered 9800 taking her total to $42,200. She's now at a 28-day total of $1,019,600. Ken tells us she's the fifth millionaire on Jeopardy, which confused me because I thought she was the fourth. And only the force to do it in regular season play. Oh, well, I guess I spoke too soon. I was 17000 and he ended up winning $48,800. Here's, Here's what's really amazing. Amy Schneider and Matt Amodi are the super champions of season 38. And they both won over a million in their 28th game. I also showed a clip on Matt's 28th win because the final Jeopardy question, the answer was the Lusitania. And I was talking about how I already did a video on the Lusitania six years before, almost seven now as recording this for its 100th anniversary. And now I'm showing a clip on Amy's 28th game about Matt's 28th win. I know I say this a lot. We have come full circle. <laughs> and I say this because eight is two circles, depending on how you write it, at least. <laughs> The Jeopardy YouTube channel posted, overheard on set. What's it like to be a Jeopardy millionaire? Ken starts off by congratulating Amy. Congratulations, wow. Amy thanks him before asking, did I get the math on that right? Ken tells Sean at Patsy, so if Amy had been incorrect before Amy tells them, I would have had exactly one million for my total. Ken points out how it's pessimistic to wager for the downside before Amy revealed she didn't feel great about the category. I missed a couple big wagers and it does sort of like you know, be there in the back of your mind. Ken adds his own experience when he lost 37000 on a comic book question that was about the illustrator. Patsy laughs and congratulates Amy. And after Amy answers, it feels pretty good to be, on, to be a Jeopardy millionaire, as the title suggests. Patsy adds, well, enjoy Ireland. I thought it was funny to go back to one of Amy's previous anecdotes when she said she'd visit Ireland when she, when asked what she'll do with her winnings. Only that was her seventh, only that was her seventh game, which aired in November and her 28th win was released in early January. When was this filmed exactly? Either way, I love Patsy paying attention to detail. Jeopardy uploaded a second video titled, Amy Schneider is the fifth millionaire in Jeopardy history. She was asked if she'd splurged it on anything. She was also asked about James Holzhauer's record as she's approaching her projected 30-second win. And as always, thank you for watching.